Welcome back to the pregame show here on the Westmoreland Sports Network. GCC and Jeanette Girls coming up in just a moment. But first, I'm being joined by the head coach of the Lady Centurions, Don Favero. And uh, coach, winner take all tonight for uh, Section 3. How do you take the pressure off of your girls coming into such a great matchup tonight? Well, I think having Jeanette in our section the last four years has been just so much fun for us, and I'm sure they enjoy it too. It's, it's the highlight of the regular season, and win or lose, we enjoy it. But uh, we took the pressure off our kids uh, a lot of different ways. You know, uh, we talk ab about our, our next opponents after Jeanette and getting ready for the playoffs. And truthfully, sometimes you don't win a section title when you go on and do incredible things. But... Right now, we're focused on this game, so there's kind of pressure on all of us to perform to our best, but I, I, the big thing is this is a high school game, and we want them to enjoy it, remember it, do their best, and have no regrets, and, and that's what's going to happen tonight. Now, a few opponents in Section 3 have managed to figure out how to shut down Sierra Gregory for Jeanette. They only have one of their seven losses in the section. Uh, what do you guys do defensively to try to take Sierra out of the equation? Well, to our knowledge, Sierra Gregory is not only leading the WPIL this year, she's leading the state of Pennsylvania. So she's one of the best shooters in the state. And what we talked about this week is, you know, we're going to acknowledge that she's a tremendous offensive player, but we're hoping that we have the better team in this game. And so we, we're a man-to-man -man team, so we're playing man-to-man -man with a lot of help. You know, that we were very conscious of where she is and so on. And uh, she'll be guarded by Italia Biondi most of the time. And Italia is a, a young player, a freshman, but with tremendous athletic skills. So, and she won't surrender. So it, that'll be a good matchup to watch throughout the game. We talked about it earlier in the pregame show. You guys are going to be missing a pretty key part of, uh, of tonight's game in the paint. You're going to be without your center, Devin Larkin. Uh, what does that do for you guys here tonight? Well, I care deeply about Devin. You know, I've been with her now for three years. Uh, took her to Princeton, took her to Notre Dame, took her to North Carolina. And uh, she's going to be a thing in the future. Unfortunately, it looks like she'll be out for the rest of the year. And she'll be with us in spirit. But Greensboro Central Catholic will have five starters in this game. And so we're not going to diminish any of those uh, roles. So we'll have five starters. We're here to play. and We're not going to surrender. All right, Coach, let's take it a little bit away from the game. Uh, this is going to be your final season. You announced that earlier uh, today. Um, what went into that decision, first of all, and uh, what's your feelings to this team that you're leaving behind? Well, 1969, it was my first game. Uh, in 2012, I got a Medicare card in the mail last week. I think those are all signs. I love these kids. It's not about them. Um, so I, I've been a part of over 500 wins, the state championship, and uh, I, I'm just happy. I was blessed to be their coach for a few years. But uh, I'm near in, ending my career, and I, I want to focus on my principalship at Gobble. And I, I hope that they stay within our staff. But, of course, that's up to the diocese. Well, Coach, I hope the rest of the season ends well for you. And uh, thanks for joining us here in the pregame show. Good luck tonight, too. Thank you. And we want to thank Westmoreland Sports for all their support. And we appreciate what you do for high school basketball in general. All right. We love doing it, Coach. Thanks a lot for the time. We'll be right back from the pregame show after this from Greensburg Central Catholic High School.